Hello Dallas, this is Anu Benikati from Desi Plaza. Greetings and welcome. Today I would like to talk about something very interesting, integral and very important part of everybody's life, health and health care. When it comes to health, every person wants a very, very important in her or his life, whether their family member is a child or himself or herself or an elderly person in the family. They want the best care and they also want to have a physician who is very compassionate, caring and also someone very well known and trained also, someone that you can always depend on. So if you are looking for a family physician in your area, which is in Allen, Texas, and I have a very good news for you. We have a very well known physicians who really care for their patients and also giving a very well known uh, facility in Allen Express Family Medicine and I would like to introduce those physicians in our studio Dr. Parihar and Dr. Modi. I would like to welcome Dr. Dr. Pradeep Parihar. He's all he's a family physician in Allen, Texas and he is practicing here in DFW area more than 12 years. He also worked as an orthopedic surgeon back home in India and he's also board certified family physician as well as sports medicine. So I would like to welcome Dr. Parihar. Glad thank to you. have you. Thank you very much and thank you for inviting us uh, as a team over here and uh, we would uh, try to make this uh, really you know, um, interesting as well as knowledgeable for your uh, health and we are here to um, kind of give you a lot of information within uh, uh, half an hour and we'll go over it especially with our practice and thank you again this is Dr. Parahar, Pradeep Parahar and uh, we'll um, uh, welcome uh, to be here. Thank you so much and uh, working with him in hand to hand with the Express Family Clinic we have another physician Dr. Modi. Dr. Sunil Modi is also family physician and he's also trained geriatrician UPMC Pittsburgh Pennsylvania. He has been practicing medicine in DFW area more than four years so I would like to introduce him. Very welcome to the studio, Dr. Modi, and uh, really glad to have you here. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very, very happy here to be here today mm -hmm. and uh, would like to you know, discuss uh, very important uh, you know, health topics which will be helpful uh, to improve the knowledge and uh, implement in the day to day life. And as always say, the prevention is the best care. Sure. Prevention uh, you know, is always better than the cure. Yeah. That will be our focus here in the topic today. Mm -hmm. Again, very glad to be here today. Absolutely, very welcome. And uh, today we are going to discuss a lot more very useful topics for all of you. You probably are looking for the different kind of services. And when we looked at the clinic services, it's very impressive. So let's start with um, what kind of services that we give and uh, what kind of benefits or any kind of like your advices for all of our viewers today. So let me start with women's health. So we all know how important it is to take care of ourselves, especially as a women. So tell us a little bit about it. So basically, you know, uh, uh, as we all know that certain diseases are more common in the female versus male, you know. Absolutely. So uh, uh, and also some women has extra responsibility of giving a birth to the child, they have a complex certain physiological differences mm -hmm. and they are more you know prone to various diseases. Right. Also they have, uh, they have you know effect of the hormones, mm -hmm. excess hormone versus low hormone. Mm -hmm. So and also the certain diseases are more prone to happen in f uh, women. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to have an annual physical uh, for a woman health, like annual uh, pap smear exam, which will help prevent the cervical cancer, mm -hmm. which is one of the fourth leading cause of death in women, mm -hmm. uh, as well as you know certain changes, physiological changes after pregnancy. Nowadays, you know, uh, lack of uh, breastfeeding also leads to uh, more. Uh, causes of breast cancer mm -hmm. that's why very important to the mammogram every year so at fam express family clinic uh, our focus is very very important on preventive care as i already said that prevention is always better than cure we offer the well woman exam which uh, covers mm -hmm. every aspect of the annual physical uh, which will cover the pap smear exam the uh, uh, 
uh, complete woman exam. Uh, we also do the mammogram uh, as well as the focus on the hormone part of the health. Right. So, as I mentioned, like uh, uh, woman health is very important because woman role is multifactorial. She's a mother, she's the daughter, she's a she wife. She has to wear many hats too. Many, many hats, exactly Absolutely. as you mentioned, yeah. Okay. So, Dr. Prihar, let me ask you about the preventive care like uh, Dr. Modi mentioned. When it comes to sports medicine, there is no such thing as <laughs> preventive medication or is there? Well, in fact, there is. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of injuries uh, that can be prevented, like uh, uh, people who are very active in football and uh, baseball and even in basketball, the most, uh, most important injury they get more often is ankle sprain. Wow. And also the knee meniscus injury, cartilage injury. Mm -hmm. So there's certain uh, exercise, you know, if they do, that will, uh, uh, you know, increase their, uh, that will, sorry, that will decrease their chances of getting, you know, a sprain, recurrent sprain of the ankle, mm -hmm. as well as a knee mm -hmm. uh, ligament sprain. Okay. So yeah, there's some uh, physical, and also stretching exercise is the number one you want to do, like if you want to run, or even if you want to do, you know, uh, basketball or football, you need to do some uh, stretching exercise, to let your ligament strengthen a little bit, and then you go for it. So those are uh, one of the uh, preventive you know, stuff That's for true. the sports medicine too. Okay. Let's connect to the women health to sports medicine. Let's take for example Serena Williams. So he, she is the, all her life, she is very active sports woman. So how does it apply? Like what is your advice on women being active in sport and still be very, you know, take care of themselves as a preventive care? Yes, yeah, so uh, basically the all human beings, you know, it, uh, of course there are certain uh, things, you know, women get more than the men, right. but usually human beings are human beings, they all need the basic care. Absolutely. So, uh, of course, you know, if you're a woman, then you need, a, it doesn't matter whether, whether you're an athlete or not, mm -hmm. you need a regular pap smear, regular mammogram, whenever it is due. Mm -hmm. And for the men, you know, there's certain uh, uh, annual screening, they have to get it done. So it doesn't matter uh, some of the preventive screen, everybody has to be on the same turf. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, especially if you're an athlete, then you get a little bit extra focus on mm -hmm. what kind of uh, prevention you need uh, in certain athlete to get into that, like uh, brain injury, you know, some people get it. So you wanna make sure, you know, they get proper uh, pre-concussion test mm -hmm. before they go back to, the wor uh, to their work or as a, you know, uh, as athlete. Mm -hmm. So certain uh, um, activities uh, when they have injury in the past, you probably have heard about a lot of, you know, um, NFL um, athlete, you know, they get a brain concussion and then they get Parkinson, you know, really early. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are out of the game within, you know, five, six years and their, their life is just destroyed. Okay. Well, that now the science says that could have been prevented, but, you know, you cannot go back on that. But of course, in front, you can go back. That uh, uh, if, uh, if somebody have concussion or head injury with those kind of contact game, mm -hmm. like uh, basketball, uh, it's not that much, but football it is. Right. So that way, uh, and if you know somebody have a head injury, you can just take them out and um, do some uh, battery test, you know, go through the test and make sure their memory and everything is back to the, uh, their original level. Mm -hmm. Then you go back and put them back to, the, uh, uh, to their athletic activity. So you just in, in the old days, what used to be, uh, you know, if you have a memory problem, get back uh, to the a game, you know, uh, without any testing, and then you get more like a head injury, concussion, and yeah. you get long-lasting, you know, Parkinson. Like Muhammad Ali, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. this one great example, Muhammad right. Ali, you know, he had a still suffering, you know, concussion injuries. But so, so there's a lot of things, you know, now with the new uh, science, you know, developed, and a lot of tests has been developed that can detect early changes, what it could happen in the future. That's wonderful. And uh, <coughs> Dr. Modi, let me ask you, uh, since we have you know, the taking care of the women health. Uh, let's come to the child. So vaccination, it is a very important education that women, all women, all mothers have to have. So tell us a little bit about how important it is and what are the other, I mean, in, in case if they don't get it, what are the side effects? Yeah, so, uh, you know, vaccination is very important. There are, uh, you know, if you look, back like since the vaccination was invest, invented you know Louis Pasteur started the vaccination and then after that well, we have a lot of vaccination uh, that prevents a lot of diseases especially infectious diseases like you know uh, before those diseases were very little I mean they were uh, child mortality rate was very high tetanus mm -hmm. you know uh, pneumonia the influenza influenza killed millions of people but nowadays because of the vaccination not only for the child mm -hmm. but for the woman as well as the for adult people you know it prevents a lot of diseases mm -hmm. before even it happening 
So, vaccination is very important. Now, uh, government is very much aware of the importance of vaccination uh, in the uh, community health. Mm -hmm. So, people who has a Medicaid, mm -hmm. vaccination is covered for free. Mm -hmm. uh, people who, who has a Medicaid insurance, even Medicare has a lot of vaccination covered mm -hmm. free of cost and most of the private insurance also put a lot of emphasis, emphasis on the prevention aspect of the diseases right. or especially on the infectious diseases like you know tetanus, diphtheria, pertussis, mm -hmm. pneumonia, influenza, mm -hmm. which diseases otherwise could be very deadly, mm -hmm. uh, could be easily prevented by the one vaccination shot if you take appropriately as prescribed by the uh, several uh, government healthcare agencies. And uh, there is lot and lot, lots of data available mm -hmm. to review for that. At Express Family Clinic, mm -hmm. our focus is always on prevention. That's mm -hmm. our top focus. And we offer various vaccination mm -hmm. uh, in coordination, coordination with the government program as well as uh, uh, different government agencies. Mm -hmm. uh, we offer different vaccinations age appropriate wise. So, uh, when it comes to vaccination, you said that women also can get vaccinated. Let's talk a little bit about that one in elaboration with uh, cervical cancer vaccination is a very new uh, thing that is being introduced. So, how effective it is? Now, yeah, that's a new, very, very good question. Uh, cervical cancer is a reality now. Uh, it's a, one of the le leading cause of cancer death among women, exactly. not only women, but men also. Uh, uh, that most of the reason of cervical cancer is one of the virus called human papilloma virus mm -hmm. and uh, it's spread by uh, sexual activity mm -hmm. and uh, it's more common in the female than men but men also not exception. Mm -hmm. So there is a new vaccine called Gardasil. Mm -hmm. It uh, helps you prevent getting the infection called human papilloma virus. Mm -hmm. So if patient or person we male or female is vaccinated before uh, his or her uh, uh, age before become sexually active, then it can prevent human papilloma virus infection mm -hmm. and that way it can prevent uh, uh, cervical cancer versus uh, even for male uh, penile yeah. cancer can be prevented. Being in America, all young teenagers are very well aware and educated about the sexual you know, partnership and definitely whatever that they <coughs> choose to uh, you know, have, um, you know, early um, contact of those kind of situations. So they normally have that one, like does it really prevent by vaccination or how does it work? Like how often, I mean, how early as a preventive care they need to take care of? Yeah, always, uh, you know, uh, as you mentioned, the safe sex uh, guidelines are always right. very important. Everybody has to mm -hmm. implement that. Even nowadays, in the, some of the schools in America, they already educate kids and teenagers regarding the, you know, those kind of practices, the healthy practices. Also, but that's not enough mm -hmm. because you know a lot of societal influence and uh, you know exposure happens even on early age. Right. So that's why these uh, vaccinations have been developed and has been already being uh, approved by the uh, CDC mm -hmm. and uh, has prevented many a diseases already. So along with education, I think still we have to have a, a proper vaccination when it is available. Uh, it is approved by the government agencies as well as the most of the insurance cover it. So we should definitely uh, recommend focus kind of uh, on those part of our health care. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Dr. Parihar, let us talk about also your clinic also offer a service for allergy. So being in Texas, that's one of the major issue that everyone goes through. So right, right. Yeah, allergy is, you know, like it's day to day, every day. Once it uh, used to be like a seasonal allergy, you know, comes in the spring uh, time right. uh, and fall time. Now it's just in, in especially in Dallas, Texas, right. there's allergy every day. <laughs> So yes, it is. There's so many things you can do for allergy, mm -hmm. especially you know you want to start with the over-the-counter medicine, but make sure you don't take pseudoephedrine mm -hmm. if you have high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So always good to talk to your personal doctor before you take any allergy medicine. But most of the time, there's uh, over-the-counter uh, allergy medicine like a Claritin, uh, Allegra, and Zyrtec. They are pretty safe. Mm -hmm. But again, you know you gotta 
talk to your personal doctor before you get into that. So that thing, and they so they're over the counter. The other thing is nasal spray. You know, sometimes people use just a, a pill. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not enough because you need to have a you know a allergy get better from your uh, you know inside the nostril and inside you know sinus. So that for that you got to use spray also. So most of the time people say just take, hey, I took allergy medicine, Claritin, it's not taking care of it because you have to use a Flonase or some over-the-counter such kind of medicine also to help out. So now if uh, um, you are suffering and you did everything, you know, whatever over-the-counter medicine you took it, there's also prescription medicine available, singular, if you took that and all those things and medicines and spray, they're not helping you out, you exhausted basically all the uh, uh, you know, medicines available, then it's time to get tested for allergy test right. to see what kind of allergy you have. It might be grass allergy, it might be just, you know, um, carpet kind of things, allergy. So that can be uh, segregated and uh, found out what kind of allergy you have. And depending on the testing, then we recommend to get allergy injection. That's usually once in a month you get it. Uh, there's a lot of variety of the forms is available. Now there's also um, a recommended uh, solution is available, but we're not into that because it is not still 100% you know, sure. So we are basically an injectable once a month allergy shot if you need to. That's a wonderful information. And uh, let's take a break, guys. And uh, you can also get a lot of information on the website as well, expressfamilyclinic.com, am I right? Yeah, it's a, we, our clinic uh, name is uh, Express Family Clinic, but our website is www.expressphysician.com. Okay, we will be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> 